How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Have our friend Buddy, friend Buddy, friend Buddy, friend Buddy, buddy hi, pal. friend Buddy. Dark What's dark up, dark. buddy pal? How are you? Our, our friend Chucky's in tow today, um, <laughs> doing a couple beer reviews, and uh, yeah, so there you go. Say hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. There it is. Uh, today we're going to be doing Smutty Noses. Or we, what do we decide we're going to call this? Zeneke. Zeneke. Zeneke um, Belgian style stout. It's um, part of Smutty Noses Big Beer series. Um, I've done quite a few reviews of Smutty Nose's Big Beer series before, and almost all of them, none was bad, a lot were really good, and a couple blew me away, so I'm super excited to give this a whirl. Now, the only caveat I have on this one is it's rather new. It's November 2014, and this is uh, February 2015, so I have like a little bit of age in my bottle, so we'll see what happens. Um, as far as what it says on the bottle, Zeneke, Belgian-style stout. Um, big beer series named in honor of the doggy Dizians of Brussels. This hybrid beer is a mix of what we love best in big roasty stouts, but fermented with a Belgian yeast, which brings out beautiful fruity nose. Cheers. Um, other than that, in the back, come visit Smutty Nose, make mine a Smutty, recycling stuff, government warning stuff, that's it. Label wise, it's cool. I mean, this dude has wings on his shoulders. I mean, come on now. What's up? Wings. It's an old dude smoking a smoking a jibber, um, holding a dog, and there you go. With wings on his shoulders. There you go. What more do you want? It's a Belgian style stout. And when I think of Belgian style stouts, it's like an old dude smoking jibbers with wings. Belgian and... style stout. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so it's a stout in the Belgian style, which basically it's a stout brewed with Belgian yeast, just to make it very generic or simple. I guess you'd say. Let's push those up there so we can get a nice idea. Okay. It's dark. It's not. It's not super dark, but your Belgian style stouts sometimes aren't as dark. Um, really tried to get a head off it, but really didn't get much to it. Uh, half finger head, nice darkish khaki colored head. Color wise, like I said, it's dark, but you can glean a little bit of color from it if you hold up the light. More brownish red than anything. But yeah, it looks like a stout. Head doesn't retain too, you know, too much. Yeah. Let's see what she smells like. Legs drop down quick. Oh my god, it smells like a Belgian. It almost smells like a quad to me. Um, with that Belgian yeast in there, it's like super fruity, like super, like almost like cordial cherries, like yeah. dark fruit, like um, plums. Yeah. Wow, super sweet. Mm -hmm. Super sweet. It almost smells like a cherry juice to me. It has that fluffy Belgian yeastiness. And totally, if you blindfolded me, you poured this beer, you gave it to me, you told me to smell it, I'm like, this is a Belgian strong dark. This isn't a stout. But yeah, it looks I like... I don't get stout out of this. But, out of the uh, nose? Yeah. Not yet. Out of the yeah. nose. Super fruity. Insanely fruity in the nose. So hopefully, uh, I wouldn't mind that being in the mouth. I'm just saying it might not be a stout. So let's find out. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's a weird one. I dig it, but it's it's a Belgian strong dark to me. It's not a stout. Yeah, no, no, there's no stout to that. Yeah, um, you know, the mouthfeel body wise, it's nice. It's it has some density to it, but it's not it's stout level. Um, yeah. Same thing in the mouth. You have that sweetness to it, that fruity sweetness, that like dark, bright, ready fruit, dark bright. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Dark bright, ready fruits. Ready fruits. Mm. It's a good beer, but I wouldn't just call it a stout. I wouldn't call it no. that. No, you blindfold me and yeah, it's not. It's yeah. not a stout. Yeah, but overall, I think it's nice. Uh, it has that um, nice Belgian double, Belgian dark, Belgian quad type mouthfeel, creaminess to it, Belgian yeastiness to it, where it has a little bit of breadiness to it, but it's just that 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 dark fruit, that cherry, dark cordial cherryness. For me, that's like what's in there in spades. I like it, but it's just not a stout. No. Yeah. It's not a stout. And I almost feel like it could do, it, it definitely could use a little bit of age. Yeah. It's um, a fresher beer. You can even see it's not boozy, but it's a little bit, you can taste the booze. Um, and uh, yeah, age wouldn't hurt it. Like I said, it's only a couple months old, so... But overall, I actually enjoy the beer. Rating-wise, uh, I would give it, like, an 
seven. That's what I would give it. Um, what do you think? Yeah, around there, eighty-five. You know, mid eighties somewhere. I'll give it eighty-seven overall. Value and availability. That's the thing with the Smoney Nose stuff. Usually you can get them. In this area, I don't see this particular style all that much. Excuse me. But uh, but they can be had. Um, so on availability scale, I'd give it like a six. Uh, values were not knocked out of the park. I think for when you're talking about a 9% beer of this caliber, I think I paid like $7 for this. Seven, eight bucks. Yeah, that's all right. That's, that's a pretty, little bit of all right. That's pretty damn all right. It's so, like two Miller Lights at your average bar. So. Yeah. Yeah. And just a little bit better. I yeah, mean, very just, close. Just a little bit. Just a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, so I'll give it an eight on a value scale. Yeah, See? Absolutely. Pretty much eights all around the board as far as uh, value availability and overall. 87 for me, 85 for him. And there you go. Uh, I mean, if you're... It's a weird one because, like I said, if, if you like Belgian Strong Darks and you're really big into like, that um, dark fruit category of Belgian Darks, that's what you covet. This is what you want to drink. You don't want to think of it as a stout. It's a Belgian-style stout, so you're kind of towing the waters there of being a Strong Dark. Um, but, yeah, I mean... If you like Belgian Strong Darks and you like that fruit characteristic, this is the beer for you. So there you go. Yeah. Another review in the books. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Untapped. Massive beers. All four of those places. You're all over. All over. And uh, yeah, there you go. Another review down. So yep. hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a beautiful... Belgian based beer right now and hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm.